And what's so neat about this technique, which is George Duesman's CTT, Consciousness Transformation Technique, is that it's a little bit different than e EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique. And what I love, it's a combination to me, I see it as a little bit of QHHT and EFT. It's like a combination because it takes people to past lives. If that's what needs to be seen or a metaphor or a scene or what have you. So okay, the, the higher self is leading the way and both of our higher selves are working together. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to read George's script to help you uh, tap into whatever your higher self wants to show you and just allow a clue to come through. Just whatever you see or sense, if you are more clairsentient like I am, and that is a knowing that comes through or it could come through color or words or even a little voice interrupt me when you connect clearly with an event close your eyes and take a deep breath and release and relax use your intention to open up the connection with your God mind. So you get the clues, information, and love that you need. Ask your God mind to allow the guidance from within. In a little while, I'm going to ask you a question. The answer that you get could be subtle and may not make any sense but trust it. Grab whatever comes. Don't judge it. Don't change it. Just allow it. It could be as simple as a word, color, sound, or feeling. Past lives or other memories often come first via feelings. Take another deep breath. Relax some more. What is the first clue? Color blue and almost a turquoise. And it's a deep hue. All right. Sit with that for a moment. And it will lead you to your next clue. Just allow whatever comes to flow and trust it. It's swirling and I want to say it's like water, but it's denser. It has more mass to it, like thicker. Um, it's not paint. It's a very deeply tinted substance that's thicker than water and it's swirling and it's beautiful there's different shades of the blue and the deep teal all swirling around sit with that beauty let it wash over you and it seems to be in a container of sorts so it's not flowing freely it's in a container like a square or a boxed in it's a it's a rectangle or a square would you like to explore that container I feel like I want it to come out of the container see how you can do that okay I just broke the container because pouring it out wasn't working how did you break it I just sort of tapped it on the ground or on the surface and it just like shattered. That's I think it was made out of glass. <laughs> I have goosebumps everywhere. Oh, good. <laughs> now you have this broken glass on the ground. You're going to be able to speak to it. 
And you can ask it why it was trying to hold those colors inside. You can speak to it. It has consciousness. It already gave me an answer. Okay. Um, it was waiting for me to shatter it, to break it open and, and let it loose. Um, it was a timing thing. Like it was just waiting for me to be there to um, break it out of its container. To break the, the, the colors out of the container. In other words, the container was saying I had to be there, I guess, when I was ready. So it was a timing thing to come in and just tap it and just, psh, okay, it's done. Does that have anything to do with humanity? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, this flowing blue, vibrant, deep color, set of colors is just, it's now free to just permeate everything. I love this. And as soon as I said that, it's like it's now healing. It's, it's a healing element. The element of the liquid inside of it is just eternal and there's no time um, associated with it. So it was more the container. So is the container the lower densities of humanity in some way? Logically, it would seem that way, but because it was such a light, um, fragile glass box, it didn't appear to be that way. So that's showing me that it's um, an illusion of, of sorts. It was a lot um, different than what it appeared to be visually, but yet it was strong enough to be there for all this time. And it feels like it's been holding it for a long time. Will you be able to speak to it and see if this is happening in real time for humanity? I already know that it is. I just feel it. Yes. I got a physical ripple. I didn't even know what is just, I got a ripple. <laughs> you felt a sensation from it? Oh yeah. A physical. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Powerful. Yeah, and this, this color, this, this liquid um, material is just pretty much, it's there. It's like it's everywhere now. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's already gone and done its thing, so I'm not really even seeing it. I'm aware of it. I'm, I guess I'm aware of its energy. And because I'm aware of its energy, I can see it swirling. I can see it moving around. And it's a slow swirl. It's not a huge, fast swirl. It's a very slow, um, beautiful, mellow swirl. In fact, when... It first started permeating when the container, the glass container shattered. It, I saw it go into the asphalt. That was the first place it, it um, and this is the asphalt in the intersection. It permeated there first, but as it was permeating down into the earth, it was permeating out at the same time and not just out um, in all directions, but also above the asphalt. Like it, it doesn't have a, limit mm -hmm. based on air or solid matter it's just like it's through everything which makes sense because everything is just empty space in between all of what we see is solid so that, that yeah it, it just went through everything i'll let more clues come from you as you feel them this isn't as much clues as much as more details that I didn't mention earlier. When I did see it originally go into the asphalt, I was seeing um, the yellow paint strip on the asphalt, um, just a piece of it. it was actually on asphalt, unless maybe this has to do with layers because the paint could represent a layer that we as society have put on something that was there for many years, that was a layer of represented by asphalt that may have been there for a while, but underneath that asphalt is soil, is um, real earth, mm -hmm. mother earth at the bottom of all that. Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe it 
represents layers. Let's look at that asphalt closely now. See okay. if we can communicate with it. Just allow whatever information comes through to you from this asphalt. See if you can speak with it. I'm feeling that it's telling me just, I'm having a hard time verbalizing this, um, that sort of the phrase being trodden on, and that's such a bizarre phrase, but it's like we have been using it as a surface to trod on, <laughs> um, you know, not just to walk and, and, and drive on, but it's almost like maybe there's more to that word. Um, and, and yet that's from the asphalt. That's not from the ground underneath. So I, why that would be coming from the asphalt to me is a little strange. Has the asphalt been affected by this energy, the swirling colorful energy? That was the first thing it permeated into. Um, oh, I see what you're asking. Did, did, did it feel a shift or anything from that? I don't think so. That's weird. That's funny you mentioned that. I don't think it did. Maybe the asphalt was the conduit for it to spread everywhere else because when you look at our globe, all the roads are connected. All the This is like a web of its own a grid of its own where everything is connecting. Maybe that's the conduit. Beautiful. And because the asphalt is not what we would traditionally see as a living being, it's just saying, Hey, Oh, like I'm allowing this to spread out from, me, meaning the asphalt is saying this. It's helping. Yeah, it's saying I'm, I'm offering up my services. <laughs> it's a network. Yes, exactly. Wow. Okay. What are you sensing? Well, I just realized I'm swaying front and back, which means that's an affirmative for my body. Mm -hmm. Secondly... Um, a lot of other um, soul confirmations from my soul to me um, have um, confirmed that what I'm meant to be doing personally is connected to other people all around the world, which I've known, but... I feel like it's a web or a, um, a grid. I think what I'm trying to say is that this series of interconnecting roads and, and strips of asphalt literally all over the world is the, I don't know if I want to say it's the path, but it is the, well, the conduit to connecting all of this and everybody. And that makes sense because we met when we had all driven to a location where we met. Yes. It wasn't like anybody flew. It wasn't, I mean, we had driven to Borrego Springs. Yes. Your bike is yellow. My bike is yellow. I think I just connected the color. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> it's that same color. Yes. That's the color. I'm also sensing that this is man-made and that the technology that humanity has uh, created is connecting all of us at this time to spread this healing energy yeah. and this love. Yeah. And that that's even what the virus is. Man-made, you mean? Uh, yes, and that it's connecting all of us. So yes. it's, it's not to be seen as something bad or good. It is, and it's at this time for a reason. It is connecting the people. It is bringing out the love in the people. And it is raising humanity to the next level. Even though it may look destructive on the outside at first. but Yeah, exactly. Yes, and I've been feeling that all along. 
Are you sensing anything that needs to be released in connection with this to allow the, this healing and love energy to be, to permeate in a more profound and better way? Is there anything that we need to release for it to speed up or ramp up or do a better job connecting the people? Okay. Um, I'm feeling that the substance itself, when it was released, was the main element. And as far as what we as humanity needs to release, I want to say our emotional patterns, our emotional habits that we've locked into. So that includes habits, patterns, um, controlled situations, um, addictions, to, to emotions, um, belief systems, old programming systems. Yeah. Just the, our whole emotional state and everything that we wrap around it, through it, in it, just everything about it. It, it feels like I see when I talk about my emotions, I'm seeing, um, this vibrant red, but it has these deeper, darker, denser layers of red around it on the outer edges. Mm -hmm. And I immediately see this blue fluid, this substance coming in to soothe the agitation of those agitating layers of the red colors, meaning there's nothing negative about any of the reds, but there's certain denser, more agitated colors in those reds that this blue is coming in. And, and when I say blue, it's all these colors of blues together um, is coming in and soothing that agitation that might be there that's beautiful yeah it's like it's pouring over it and it's just like it's like the emotional state i see the emotional state of, as if it's this almost okay a heart shape i'm thinking of that emoji i use all the time when i'm texting the one that has the different layers of of the red in it and um it's like it's just sort of pouring over that shape and the shape is sighing and going ah that's visually exactly what I see. And now my whole body's vibrating. Okay, but pulsing. See if this resonates with you. I am feel I'm feeling the red as the root chakra. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, so humanity's in survival mode in the root chakra right now, and that needs the balance yeah. of healing. Maybe that's what just started pulsing. I'm just like, whoo, here we go. <laughs> that energy burst is starting. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I have tingling. <laughs> yeah, the energy is powerful. And it's going, it is. It's going very. through the body. And this is um, the blues. If we're talking chakras now, because you may just have hit on that. The blues, we have green is the heart um the throat is a certain shade of blue mm -hmm. like a bright blue right mm -hmm. yeah and then the third eye is what color again indigo indigo what is the crown white Purple. violet violet yeah oh that, okay it feels like if we're looking at colors all the colors in that blue um substance that liquid substance are from the heart to the third eye with the maybe higher. a little bit of crown mixed in because it's just this swirling mass of just gorgeous colors. Um, My favorites. Yeah, yeah. Very, very. And they're right above you in your room right now. Oh my gosh, yeah. So is there anything that needs releasing for the collective? Our habits and our patterns. Okay. We're going to go ahead and tap those. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to say the script and you're already tapping. Okay. And just repeat after me. Okay. There is a part of me that knows how to. There is a part of me that knows how to. Release and heal. Release and heal. Old patterns. Old patterns. Old belief systems. Old belief systems. Dense programming. Dense programming. Old structures, old structures, old systems, old systems. What else would you like to add? We can old energies, old energies, 
you said habits and patterns, right? Mm -hmm. Old patriarchy. Old, old patriarchy. Old tension. Old tension. Old physical tension. Old physical tension. Old gripping. Old gripping. Suppression. Suppression. Smallness. Smallness. Containment. Containment. <laughs> wow. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um. Ownership. Ownership. Detainment. Detainment. Encasement. Encasement. Incarceration. Incarceration. Withholding. Withholding. Division. Division. Reservations. Reservations. Reserving. Reserving. Of things, mm -hmm. of elements of energy. Mm -hmm. Hoarding. Hoarding. Fear. Fear. Darkness. Darkness. Mistrust. Mistrust. Lack of faith. Lack of faith. Lack consciousness. Lack consciousness. Embodiment of lack. Embodiment of lack. Unworthiness. Unworthiness. Limited thinking. Limited thinking. Limited movements. Limited movements. Limited energy. Limited energy. Limited finances. Limited finances. Limited abundance. Limited abundance. Limitations of any sort Limited. that inhibit growth. Limitations of any sort that inhibit growth. And limitations of any sort that inhibit freedom. And limitations of any sort that inhibit freedom. Control. Control. Wow. This stuff. Wow. <laughs> Big wow. <laughs> so much energy is coming through. That, that dragon breath is so releasing that density. I see golden dragon and violet flame breath. Oh, wow. Oh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> Everything is so clear and light in my mind's eye that I, I'm just floating. Yes. yes. <laughs> and all of that density that we are releasing... It is time to embrace it. Let's embrace it with our arms right now. Gather it and embrace it and transmute it. Ah, okay. We love you. We love you. We love you. This is a part of us. This is our shadow. There's nothing oh. to fear. It's nothing to fear. This control, All of that stuff that we just talked about, the density yes. is our shadow. And that is what's playing out on the surface of the world right now. That is what the virus is showing us. It's showing us our shadow. Yes. It's beautiful. Yes. Love it. Thank, yes. thank that virus. This is an opportunity it is yes. providing us. Yes. There's nothing to fear. Nothing to fear. Thanking this shadow, this mm -hmm. density and infusing it with this blue liquid. And it's swirling 
around it and it's enveloping it and it's nurturing it. It's, it's healing it. It's, um, it's giving it what it needs to transmute. My crown is tingling. <sighs> I'm vibrating all over. <laughs> violet, violet flame is transmuting also, but all those colors, yeah. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh. Okay. I will finish the rest of the script. That part of my being is willing to inform the rest of me now. It is doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. My mind, body, and spirit are receiving the love, healing, information, permission, and deep relief, joy, and love now. Take a deep breath. Experiencing the healing and insights. Information transfer is now complete. So be it, it is done. So be it, it is done. Oh my gosh, girl. <laughs> oh my god. Monumental. Extremely. And every color in our frames, including us, is very significant. Oh, yeah. yeah. In our yeah. video frames. Very yeah. interesting how we were led to the colors today, right? Oh, yeah. Your pink just popped from the second I saw you, and it's, it's glowing right now. <laughs> so are yours. Wow. I would like to thank all the beautiful beings who participated yes. in this. Yes. We could go on and on with an entire list. Archangel Michael, Raphael, Metatron, Jesus, Yogananda, St. Germain, <sighs> Dolores, bless you, Angel. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> Dr. Emoto. Yes. We had the quantum water. Tesla, I love you, baby. Oh, yeah. Who else do you want to bring in? Oh, everything in the in the universe. All of them. Excuse me. Mm. Yes. Toth, Isis. All the star seeds. All the star seeds and light workers who are working so hard right now. Thank yes. you, angels. Yes. This is not an easy time for humanity, and we are being called to action. Mm -hmm. Thank you yeah. for rising to the, the occasion. Ah. You are wearing your super capes now. Multiple. Yes. Bless you all. Yes, thank you all. I'm giddy. I'm so I know, me too. Ecstatic. I'm like, what are we going to do for the rest of the day? I'm like, <laughs> float. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> float. Oh, my gosh. Angel, thank you so much for this. Oh, it, it was you. It was you and I. You and I were chosen for this. Yes, exactly. It's a big one. And this is on the opening of the 4-4 portal. Yes. And notice how the mass meditations are forming for that day. I have, I have group meditations on Zoom all day Saturday the 4th, April Wow. 4th. So this was the opening of it. And Saturday, the April 4th, will come and now have expansiveness to really make its mark and open up wide. I feel the, the yeah, what Dolores called the separation of the two earths now. So yeah. uh, it can be metaphoric. It, it can be energetic. This, this is happening. More of us are spending more time in, the, in 5D. Yeah. And oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not helping those in 3D. Bless oh, them all. Gosh. Wow. Thank you, Angel, for this huge work. Thank you, Angel. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. So um, as we were ending this, and, and I didn't tell you this a second ago, I got this amazing aroma, actually, 
as we were finishing up there a few minutes ago. And then it shifted and things started smelling like something was burning. <laughs> and I thought it was maybe literally an energetic release of, of emotions and energy that was like smelling really bad. It smelled almost like burnt rubber. And when I, when we stopped recording a minute ago and I went, hold on. And I ran in the other room because I had realized we've been doing this for over an hour. I had started some water boiling on in a small breaky cup um, about 10 minutes before we got on this call. So that has been boiling down into absolutely nothing this entire time. And then I start smelling this and I ran in there and turned it off. And the breaky is not a typical metal breaky. It is, and I, I, I might be able to pick it up. I want to show it to you. Yeah, go ahead. Hold on. Go ahead. <laughs> we'll talk about this. And I felt that this absolutely had to happen. And the boiling water, so I, pull, I connected with Dr. Yamoto, who is all about the quantum energy of water. And in its boiling state, which is what humanity, look how beautiful that is. Yes, it's a gorgeous pot, and I bought it because it was this awesome red. And what were we talking about? The heart shape. The, this is the shades of red that I was seeing in the layers of my mind's eye. Completely. And this thing is, it's a lot blacker than it was <laughs> an hour ago. This is not normally this black. The red on the outside, because this thing is hot, the red on the outside of this was about the color of this red before an hour ago when this thing started burning down. Wow. It's beautiful. <laughs> it is beautiful. I'm hoping oh I can God. restore some of the color. <laughs> even, the, even the black part's beautiful. Yeah. And boy, is that, I don't, you can't see this, but that is some charred interior in there. So wow. I'll let you use the word that you said when we had turned off the, cord, the recording, the A word because it's all about that. Oh, alchemy. This is alchemy. This is alchemy in a physical a physical manifestation of what we just did. Yes. Energetically. And wow. It's, it's and there was humanity. no burning, there was no fire in there. Everything was completely safe. I was meant to smell that when I smelled that right after we were done. Yes. Uh, yes. I'm blown away. The, the physical manifestation of what we did. Yes. And that's the boiling of the water is the chaos that humanity is going through right now. And yes. from chaos, this is what Dolores just said in another session, from chaos births creation. Yes. Yes. So that is what's happening now. And the, the chaos is what humanity has to go through. It's what Trump represents, the catalyst that's just tearing everything apart, old, all the old systems. And then once that's all broken down, demolished, that's when the new can grow. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. yes. So the, the chaos is not a lot of fun, but it's quite necessary. Extremely, yes. yes. <laughs> Extremely. So people, angels... Those of you who are experiencing a bit of chaos in your lives, uh, you know, bless you. Hang in there. there. There is a beautiful other side to all of the chaos, but we have to walk through it. We're going to walk through it as a people, together. Mm -hmm. And the virus is bringing us together. Even though we're keeping our social distance, it's pulling everyone kind of out of their houses, onto balconies in the streets, saying hi, walking their dogs, doing that. It is a beautiful thing. It's bringing the people together. And, and solidarity is what needs to happen. Unity is what needs to happen. And how we will get through this chaos together. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. So we love you all. Definitely. Love you all. <laughs>